Since the retirement of the space shuttle after 30 years of service, NASA has had to rely on the Russians to get into space. Their Soyuz rockets are fairly reliable, but both the shuttle and the Soyuz have a problem. They don't really go very far. The 220 miles above the Earth where the International Space Station sits is more or less the limits of where man can go in space. But now NASA has released the design of a new rocket, which it says will get man deeper into the cosmos than ever before. The old shuttle could carry around 22 tonnes into space. That's a lot, but nothing compared to the 63 tonnes the new rocket will be able to lift. And that will rise to 120 tonnes later on. If it looks like most other rockets, that's because, for the moment, it is. The technology is an upgrade of the existing shuttle engines developed for the cancelled Constellation moon landing mission. Nevertheless, it's expected to cost around $18 billion to get the project in the air and beyond by 2017. And what then? Well, this is the craft President Obama hopes will get man onto an asteroid by 2025 and onto Mars by 2030. And that's a big ask, even for a very big rocket.